Good afternoon and welcome to Friday First. I'm Nikki. I'm Paul. And I'm Theo. Here's some of the best of keys this week. Voters marked X on a ballot paper yesterday in the local and mayoral elections. The results have been coming throughout the evening and Salford City Council is largely unchanged with the Labour majority. We should find out the results of Salford mayoral elections later on this afternoon. With the change in electoral rules, individuals rather than households had to register to vote in the elections, leaving many students unfortunately able to register. Now, there's this whole like idea of people living in areas which are largely conservative. Do you think that's an excuse for people to kind of not get involved and they just feel like it's not going to count? Well, it's not really an excuse. It's the truth, to be honest. With our first pass for poll system, a good number of people that do vote then get that vote thrown away because it isn't in the majority. That's probably where all the apathy is coming from because in our current system, if you disagree with everybody else in your area, your vote doesn't count. Mm. It's a shame, mm. really. Well, hopefully yes, yeah. we'll see a change in the near mm. future. So, now, the students of Salford University took part in a debate in the EU referendum. The debate sparked a lot of questions and of controversy over the UK leaving Europe, which made students aware of both advantages and disadvantages. Existing homeowners have fortunately benefited from declining values. However, young buyers have been forced to take on the more daunting mortgages to climb onto the property ladder. Yeah, housing prices are so expensive. I'm uh, 24 now. I'm still living at home and I can't afford to move out because uh, the prices are just so expensive. Even though I work, I just can't afford it at the moment. No. The dream of young people owning their own homes is becoming a distant memory. They're stuck in a cycle of having to rent and sublet from other landlords. Now, this slows down the process of them being able to move out their own homes and gain their own freedom instead of living with their parents for the rest of their lifetime. Having a home, whether rented or bought, also offers freedom. We shouldn't only be the luckiest of this generation who have a chance to create the homes our parents had. Many still hope to see a change for the better for the next generation. The Age Comba, Keys News. Veganism, people who do not eat meat, fish or poultry, was celebrated in Manchester with their fourth annual Northern Vegan Festival. Grace Fensom went down to the event to find out more about their lifestyle. This Thursday evening on the 25th of February is going to host Reclaim the Night, which is going to be hosted by a number of women from the University of Manchester and other women from across the city. It has been reported that almost 51 young people over the age of 16 have been harassed either sexually or physically by men across the city. Here at the King's Arms pub in Manchester, they'll be hosting a variety of art talents across the spectrum. Over 90 shows are taking place at 30 different venues across the city. The programme brings together those people who enjoy music, dance, theatre, new writing, cabaret, comedy and plenty of plays. We're trying to sort of get across that next time you see an older person, think of, the, think of their backstory. Think that they're, they, they're old now, but they've had plenty of experience and plenty of life in front of them. And so, well, behind them, I should say. So they've got a backstory, and th that's what we're telling. I know it sounds daft to say during a war and all, but I made friends here. I belonged. Where do I start? Oh, I will not miss this place one little bit, I can tell you. But though it's disgusting, gory. Superheroes are spotted climbing down on the Manchester's tallest building raise money for the new helipad at Manchester Central Hospitals. Our reporter Max Merrill braved the heights. For the first time in Salford sports history, both the men and women have made it to the semi-final of the car. Salford's men's volleyball team struggled in the first set against the University of Manchester. Salford's men began to turn up the heat and eventually won 15-7 against league leaders University of Manchester to reach the final of the cup. This week's looks settled with some sunshine, cloud and a little bit of rain as we head into the weekend which have had temperatures dropping to 5 degrees. Today sees a bright and chilly start with temperatures from 3 ranging all the way to 15 followed by a bright day with sunny periods and also a dry night. Wednesday and Thursday look settled with a cloud and sunny intervals and as we head into Friday it looks cloudy with the odd spot of rain turning colder in the north with temperatures ranging from 3 degrees to 10 degrees. That's it from us. You're listening to Keys News with Theo Chikomba with the Weather Report.